Hello and welcome to another lecture on relations and functions. Today we shall be discussing about composite function. Later we are going to deal up with inverse of a function. And finally we shall conclude this lecture based on relations and functions by discussing a numerical problem that would be based on the concepts that we are going to discuss in the coming segment of this lecture. So we begin our lecture with discussion on composite function. For this we are going to discuss the composition of function which is an operation that arises in case of functions. For this we are going to consider an example let's say hx which is equal to root of 4 minus x square. Now this function represent a composite function of the functions fx equal to 4 minus x square and gx equal to root of x. That is hx is equal to g which is a function of fx. This is equal to g which is a function of fx and since fx is equal to 4 minus x square. This is equal to root of 4 minus x square. This means that if we have fg two real value function and let d equal to x where x belongs to df and fx belong to dg then the composite function of f and g is denoted by gof and is defined by gof of x is equal to g which is a function of fx with domain d. The composite function of two functions is also called as the resultant of two functions or function of a function. Next we are going to consider inverse of a function. Here if x and y are subsets of set r of all real numbers and f is to x tends to y is a bijection then the inverse of function f that is f inverse y tending to x is given by f inverse y is equal to x if and only if fx is equal to y where x belongs to x and y belong to y. Also the composite function f inverse of is equal to f inverse of fx. Now since fx is equal to y this is equal to f inverse of y which is equal to x and the composite function f o f inverse of y is equal to the function of f inverse y which is equal to fx and which is equal to y for all x belonging to x and y belonging to y. Next we are going to discuss the algorithm by which we can find the inverse of a function. The first step is to obtain the function and check its bijectivity. If f is a bijection then it is invertible. In order to find the inverse of f we put the composite function f o f inverse of x equal to x which implies that function of f inverse of x is equal to x. Next we use the formula for fx and replace x by f inverse of x in it to obtain the left hand side of function f which is a function of f inverse x equal to x. Now we solve this equation for f inverse of x in order to get f inverse x. Next we are going to discuss certain problems that would be based on the concepts that we have discussed in this lecture. The problem says that if fx is equal to 3x minus 2 whole divided by 2x minus 3 prove that function f which is a function of fx is equal to x where x is not equal to 3 by 2. Now as given in the problem we have fx equal to 3x minus 2 divided by 2x minus 3. This implies that the domain of function f is equal to 
r minus 3 2 now function f which is a function of fx is equal to f which is a function of 3x minus 2 divided by 2x minus 3 this can be written as 3 into 3x minus 2 whole divided by 2x minus 3 minus 2 whole divided by 2 into 3x minus 2 divided by 2x minus 3 minus 3 this is equal to 9x minus 6 minus 4x plus 6 whole divided by 6x minus 4 minus 6x plus 9 this is equal to 5x divided by 5 which gives us the value of x as required in the given problem thus we have proved that f which is a function of fx where fx is equal to 3x minus 2 whole divided by 2x minus 3 is equal to x next we have another problem in which we are required to find the value of the parameter alpha for which the given function fx equal to 1 plus alpha x where alpha is not equal to 0 is the inverse of itself now here clearly fx which is equal to 1 plus alpha x is bijection from r to itself now the composite function f o f inverse x is equal to x this implies that the function f which is a function of f inverse x is equal to x now since we have fx equal to 1 plus alpha x therefore we have f of f inverse x as 1 plus alpha f inverse x which is equal to x this gives us the value of f inverse x x minus 1 divided by alpha now it is given that fx is equal to f inverse of x for all x belonging to r this implies that 1 plus alpha x is equal to x minus 1 divided by alpha for all x belonging to r this gives us 1 plus alpha x equal to 1 divided by alpha into x plus minus 1 by a on comparing the left hand side and the right hand side we have the value of alpha as 1 by alpha and 1 is equal to minus 1 by alpha this gives us alpha square equal to 1 and alpha equal to minus 1 this implies that alpha is equal to minus 1 thus the value of the parameter alpha is equal to minus 1 for which the given function fx which is equal to 1 plus alpha x is inverse of itself with this we conclude another lecture based on relations and functions in which we dealt with the composite functions and the inverse of the given functions.